you know, I want to bring up, you know, both sports, obviously basketball, football. A lot of people don't know that you played both and you was really good in both. Um, take us through, like, you know, playing basketball in high school. Well, um, playing with white chocolate, of course, a lot of people mm -hmm. don't realize that, you know, he was an all-around athlete himself. Right. And um, he was a year ahead of me. Mm. So with him playing, and what was funny was, you know, Nike used to hold an annual uh, All-American game, and Jason went the year before. Oh, okay. So Jason went to the All-American game, and, you know, they took, you know, West Virginia being a small state. A couple guys. So Jason went. Then the following year, they had one guy that was actually him and Jason were rivals, but oh, Jason okay. was a year older than us. So he got selected to go, and then I'm sitting there like, well, where's my invitation? Hmm. So they selected me to go. And what was crazy is when I first met you at the Nike All-American mm, camp in, uh, in, 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 in right. no, it was in Illinois. 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 In, Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Indianapolis, okay. Yes, yes. So uh, when, they, when they brought us there and, uh, you know, bringing all those athletes in, it right. was, Different. you know, you, the big names were you, Ron Mercer. Right. And then the underclassman there was Shea Cotton out of California. Ooh, you remember, remember him? Shea okay. Very all right. good. Shout to Shea Cotton. There you go. Right. So, you know, a lot of, of the athletes that were there were basketball all year round gym rats. Mm. So when I got there, I was a seasonal athlete. So got there, seen you, you guys, uh, top five guys, top ten guys in the country. So in a roundabout way, I kind of... Um, kind of got depressed a little bit, you know oh, what I'm wow. saying? And just for the fact that I know I couldn't compete with oh, you guys. Wow. And wow. I got a funny, funny story for you. We played and there was a rain delay. You were out in the court by yourself. You were out there shooting the ball. And so I just love, you know, basketball, like we sit here holding the basketball right now. So yeah. you were out there shooting. We were on a rain delay because uh, it was a bad storm coming through. So they stopped all the ball Pause playing the game, right. and brought everybody, the end, to, right. brought everybody in. So you're there playing on, on the court. So I just come out there and shoot around with you. So for some apparent reason, I just said check ball. All right, I know you're not going to remember this, but I do. I told you check ball. So this is really what discouraged me. You and Shea Cotton helped me go to football. So I stuttered, then tried to go to the hole real quick. Laid that thing high off the glass where that white box is. You went up there and cleaned my ball. You went up there and cleaned it. So when you went up there and cleaned it, I looked up there and I'm like, man, he can jump that high. And we in Indianapolis. Yeah, so it was just a lot of just a lot of guys that, you know, you, Vince Carter. I remember AI was there. I remember a bunch of guys. A lot of there. guys, yeah, man. So yeah. I, I think in our era, you know, looking at the guys, you know, some went to college, some, you know, right. of course, went straight to, to yeah, the NBA. Right. But I think that our era was a great era, you know, because you had guys in football, guys really wanting to go to college. Guys were blessed, you know, right. fortunate to go to the league. So, you know, shout out to you and Shea Cotton, man, because mm -hmm. if y'all really wouldn't have discouraged me to play basketball, I mean, to, to play football, then where would I be at right. today? Because I know, know Tony saying? Gonzalez plays two sports, too. Uh, Antonio Gates, I think, played basketball a little bit. These guys played. Those guys made the transition, and I think nowadays, these athletes nowadays, need to leave all their options open and not just take one sport. Was you changed it knowing the protocol with concussions and stuff? If you can go back and knowing what you know about the guaranteed money and all that, would you change the sport knowing what you know now, being being able to go through it and all that? Would you change your decision? I think now... Knowing how great you were in, in the NFL? I, I, no, because right. I still love the game, man. Right. It's, right. It, it's the love of the game, man. Right. It's just like you can go anywhere. Right. You know, if we were, if we could lace them up right, right here behind us, man, we can get it in. Right. So right. I think the love of the game you develop, you know, as, as, in your youth. Right. And then as you grow older, you, you continue to love the game. So, man, I've always had the love of the game ever since I was six years old. That's great, man. I'm glad you chose football because without that, we wouldn't have got to see the great Randy Moss <laughs> and blessing us with some real skill, my dude. Yes, so, Every 21, Randy Moss, we in here. You know what it is, right?